Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. So, we're going to carry on with the fight camera. And yes, as you can see, I am no longer using Mono Develop. Instead, I have switched to Visual Studio. I've had no choice with the version of Unity that's just been released. However, it should not make any difference. And with that said, let's just continue on. So, I'm going to begin by coming here below the void update. And we'll create another of type private void update player position. As always, we'll open and close brackets, we'll open and close again. And put in our normal debug log with the name of the function. So let's just paste that in and we shall copy the whole function. Let's paste it in again. And we're going to change this to opponent's position. And as normal, we'll swap out the naming conventions in the debug log. And we'll come inside update player position. And what we're going to use is these vector three variables. So obviously for this function, it's going to be player's position and it's going to be equal to a new vector 3. We'll open and close brackets. We'll close the line off and it's going to be equal to player 1. So this game object, which I went through in the previous video of how this works. We're going to say dot transform dot position dot x comma and let's just copy that and we'll paste it in twice let's get rid of the comma and we'll change the last one to z and the middle one to y and let's break this up as normal for commenting So, we'll begin by saying <coughs> player position equals, let's come to the next line, player one game object, let's say object position on x axis and we'll just copy that comment and we'll paste it in twice and we'll just change again from y and to z and let's copy all of that And we're going to paste it into the opponent position and we'll swap out the naming convention. So the first one is now opponent position. We'll change that in the comment. And this time we'll change it to underscore opponent for the next three instances and we'll change the comment here and now we'll come to the void update and we'll call update player position, open and close brackets, close the line off into the comments. 
we'll just say call update player position function and the same for the update opponent's position as well. So I'll just quickly put that into the comments also. And we'll just save that off there. And now we're going to come below here. Again, this can be of type private void update camera position. Open and close brackets. Open and close again. Again, we'll copy in the debug log. And swap out the naming convention. And while we're here, we might as well put it into the void update. So update camera position, open and close brackets, close the line off. And again, straight into the comments. So let's save that there. So we're going to need to know the player position and the opponent's position for three things. The first one is the scrolling left and right. The second one is the zooming in and out. And as I explained in the last video, we're going to have the camera zoom out. If the player and the opponent get too far away from each other and then zoom back in when they become closer together. And we'll also need to know if the player has jumped over the opponent. So let's come to the update camera position. And to avoid the camera getting too close, we're going to say camera value Z axis is greater than minus two into the comments. So we'll say if camera value Z axis is greater than minus two. Let's come to the next line and we'll just make the camera value on the Z axis equal to minus two. Let's close that line off into the comments. So we'll say, then make camera value Z axis equal to minus two. Now this value of minus two may be different for you. You will need to experiment to find a value that um, suits your project. But for me, the Z axis minus two is about right. Now, if it goes greater than minus two, even just to zero, the camera will zoom in too close to the players because the Z axis represents the position away, which is why it's a negative value. So let's have a look. And below this, we can say underscore fight camera dot transform dot position is going to equal a new vector three. We'll open and close brackets. We'll close the line off. 
and we're going to say camera value x axis comma one comma camera value z axis plus the camera z axis modifier so let's break this up for commenting again and we'll get into the comments we'll say update fight camera position to equal camera value x axis in fact I'll put that in capitals next line one on y axis and camera value plus modifier z axis so let's save that off there now we still need some more code for this function that's actually going to come here at the beginning of the actual function itself and that will allow this block of code to work now this block of code where we update the fight camera position will not work until we get some more code in place at the beginning of the function so please be aware of that until the next lesson the camera will not function correctly but in the very next lesson that is what we are going to do we should in fact we will definitely finish the fight camera script in the very next lesson and of course we will then test it out so you can see it working so i think we're going to leave it here for this lesson as always i hope you enjoyed this video i hope to see you next time and until then as always bye for now